Welcome to Affordable Backyard University, the weekly show that teaches you how to confidently buy backyard home improvements the right way. This week, we'll be magically transported to Frisco, Texas, where we'll take an inside look at a beautiful eight-foot-tall estate-grade board-on-board fence next. So just like every week, we're going to start by talking about what makes a good fence really a good fence because they're all pretty when they're brand new, but what makes one last? Let's talk about that right now. Eight-foot-tall board-on-board fences are a special kind of construction project. They are heavy. They catch a lot of wind. So you'll notice this has our kickboard on the bottom, two-by-six retaining wall board. Then it's got three additional two-by-four rough-hewn cedar nailers attached to those thick-walled posts we've talked about before. Those posts are approximately six foot apart, and they are three foot in the ground with a big old bag of maximizer concrete holding them in. They are not going anywhere. Now, it's all well and good having those posts six foot apart and three foot deep in the ground with that maximizer concrete, but you've still got to attach all those four rails, all that to those posts. And so a good builder uses Simpson brackets with clamp screws, inch and a half lag screws, real two by four rough hewn cedar rails, and we hard cap the top of those posts to keep the water out to cut down the corrosion. That combined with the wall thicknesses make those almost unbeatable. Now I cannot impress on you enough the importance of getting those two by four rough hewn cedar nailers. Every day I see eight foot tall cedar fences where the people thought they were getting a cedar fence, were told it was a cedar fence, but they've got white pine nailers and they're sagging and their fences are already falling down. They spend a lot of money and that is not right. Now, one of the new blingy things this family spent money on was called a top cap. And it is a two by six sitting on the top, a one by two and a one by four. It kind of makes it look like cove molding, doesn't it? Now, last but not least, this family wanted a gate entryway that made a statement when you drove up to the back of their house to come to a pool party. And that's what this is. So you can see it all pulled together. It's an eight foot tall board on board fence. It's got a top cap with triple trim on it. It's got an arch top gate. It's got some gate bling in the, in the middle. And then you can see the, the big fake columns on either side that are hiding the big steel poles. It's a beautiful entry. This is a beautiful fence and they're really happy. Well, you know what that music means. It's time for your favorite part of the show where I say, okay, I'm just gonna shut up. Enjoy the walk. Well, once again, we'd like to thank you for coming to class and getting another passing grade and getting your diploma. We love it every week when y'all show up and we love bringing these shows to you. So, hey, see us next week when we'll be somewhere else looking at another project showing you how to get the best value for your dollar in this economy. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Arrivederci.